to worship everyone in our Christchurch family. This is a super special worship for you today because you're going to see a few faces that you might recognise. Now I hope you've been doing everything you can to keep hope strong this week, that you've been sharing good news with everyone. Thank you to all of those who've shared good news with me and I hope you've done something Thing, really super kind for a friend this week as we've been thinking about our friends. Now I'm going to hand over to Lorelei from her home and she's lighting the candles for us today. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hey everybody, now you know that I've been asking everyone to share their good news with me this week. Now my good news is that my tortoises, this is Margot and Sheldon, have come out of hibernation. So this is really good news for us in our house. Here they are. Now, I hope you like my good news, because when we put them away in November, we were hoping that they would stay safe. So that was my super good news today. I'm going to put them back in here because they're enjoying being under their lamps. Now, I have asked the teachers and some of you, what are your good news stories? So keep watching and you'll see some special faces from people in our school community. Well, Christchurch, this is Mrs. Avery here, and I thought I'd show you a little video of my chickens, my rescue chickens, who um, are very lovely to me. And the good news about my rescue chickens is that today they have given me three, one, two, three delicious eggs for me to have for my breakfast. Now, usually I might get one or two, but today there are three eggs. So thank you very much, my lovely chickens. And I will see you again later with some more food and scrummy bits to say thank you. Bye. Hello, Christchurch. My good news story this week is all the hard work my children have done on with all the online learning. Their perseverance and dedication has really impressed me. And it's been absolutely lovely to see them over the Zoom calls. My good news is quite small, but it made me very happy. I put on my coat that I hadn't worn for quite a while and I found my gloves. I thought I'd lost. Hooray! My good news story is about our live Zoom calls at Stingrays. We had a lovely moment last week when all the children on the Zoom call were chatting to each other. They were sharing their stories, telling each other what they were doing during lockdown and how they were entertaining themselves. It was a lovely magical moment just to listen to the children chat and share their thoughts and ideas with their friends. Thank you, Stingrays. Mr. Gerald's good news is that he has now got his taste buds back, so has been savouring the sweet treats he has missed over Christmas. Very yummy. My good news is that I can run uh, again, and I can't wait to go for my run tonight. Wish me luck. My good news is I could eat my Christmas Toblerone this week. Yes! everybody at Christchurch, Mrs Doughty here. I hope you're really well, I hope you're doing hard work and I hope you're being safe and keeping those around you safe and happy. My good news for today is I found a poem that I really liked and I'm going to share it with you and I hope it makes you smile the way that it made me smile. I'll wear a smile, that's my resolution. I'll wear a smile, though the skies are dark. All the while I'll wear my smile, the year will be one long lark. That poem really did make me smile, and for me, that's good news. I hope to see you all soon. Keep working hard, keep smiling, and we'll be all back together as soon as we possibly can. Bye, Christchurch. Hello, Christchurch. My good news story this week is seeing my friends in Zoom. My good news is I got given a drum kit.
but it might not be good news for my neighbours. Hello Mrs Carter, I thought I'd do a short video to tell you how I can stay positive and strong. Here are a few things that make me strong and positive. I like to play my ukulele that makes me peace that makes me feel all peaceful inside and makes me happy. And also sometimes I like to learn songs. And also I also sometimes I like to read this because it makes me feel a lot more better and happier because it's about staying positive and how it's good to listen. And also, I like to do some drawing sometimes because it helps me stay strong and positive as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed those good news stories. I loved seeing some of those faces, or all of those faces, of people in our school community. Don't forget, you can keep sharing your good news stories with me, because I just want to keep sharing them with everyone as well. Now, one of the lines in our school prayer is to keep friendship in our hearts. So, what is being a good friend? I'm going to hand back over to Lorelei in our home, and she's going to tell us about what being a good friend is. Christ Church, one of our school values is friendship. And that is our focus for this week. There are lots of things we are missing in lockdown. And it will be different for all of us. McDonald's, eating out, shopping, playing sport, going to the beach for ice cream, maybe even school. But I'm sure there's one thing we all have in common, missing seeing our friends every day. Friendship is such an important part of our lives. It's important to think how we can be a good friend to others and also what to look for in a friend. Here is a few ideas. What makes a good friend? Loyalty. What's best for you, there for you, fun, generous, consistent, honest, loving, kind, helpful, has time for you, and forgiving. I hope everybody has at least one friend like this, but there is a verse in the Bible in Proverbs 18.24 that talks about a friend who, stick, who sticks closer than a brother. If you are feeling lonely or sad, you can turn to Jesus, who will be a friend at all times. I hope you've enjoyed this worship today on Friday. Now, we're going to show the Christchurch prayer. And as you read the words on the screen, Maybe hold them in your heart through the day and I'd ask you to pray them along with me. And then after the prayer, one of our favourite Christchurch songs is going to come up. And you might want to have a little bop around your house to the song Joy In Me. It's one of my favourites, as you know, and I know lots of your favourites too. So have a little boogie and a dance to that song to end this Friday singing Joy In Me at the end of our worship. But stay safe, everyone. 
Read the prayer now and then enjoy the song. Yeah. 